What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Shoots with Coops and today we're making a video because uh, a friend of mine actually ran into a couple of these problems and we're going to be talking about some troubleshooting tips um, and tricks when it comes to film canisters, loading your film, pulling the film leader out when you're developing, just a few little things that might actually help you guys uh, if you get stuck with the film canister and, or, and when you get into developing your own film. Now, first one, guys, uh, and probably the most common problem is when your film leader goes back inside your can and you can't get it back out. Instead of wasting money on buying yourself one of the, you know, a film leader retrieval device, you can just use a strip of negatives you got lying around at home. Everyone's got these, guys. I'm sure you've got some from when you've shot a roll before. Simply take the negative, dip one end in some water, all right? Or well, you could spit on it, but probably better off than licking the negative is just dip it in a bit of water. Uh, once you've wet it, insert it into the film can. Now keep your finger uh, on the t on the, the sorry the center bit of the spool on the top and the bottom because you don't actually want to start spinning that by pushing the new one in. So hold those two and insert it, you know, one or two centimeters. Okay. Now once it's in there, if you start to wind the film back in, so uh, counterclockwise, and you wind the film back in, see that? It will start to pull the film back down into the leader. Now, you'll get to a point where you can't pull anymore. Once it's in there, uh, it's just a matter of quickly pulling the thing, pulling the, sorry, pulling the negative back out, and bam, there you go, guys. There's your film leader. Second, guys, when loading your film for development. Okay, now, a lot of people use a dark bag. I don't actually use a dark bag. I use something like this. Very, very simple and everyone can do it at home. So instead of the dark bag, guys, all I do is come into my bedroom, uh, put down the curtain, close the roller blinds, shut the door, and I go underneath the covers in pitch black and load my film. But as a tip for you guys, before you go into your bedroom or your dark room and go under the covers, First thing you should do is, instead of fumb you know, making it harder for yourself to fumble around in the dark, take your film and pass the leader through the spool, past the ball bearings. So the first two ball bearings that you can see are right there. Pass, make sure the film leader's gone past those ball bearings. So when you get in the dark, it's just a simple matter of pulling the film out and winding it on, simple as that. All right, guys, now the last little tip for when you're ready for development and you, you, know, you want to get your film into your spool, uh, if you just cannot get that leader out, because especially a lot of automatic uh, cameras will wind it all the way in. If you just can't get it out um, and you've tried and you've tried, you have to crack the canister, and I'll show you how to do this now. So make sure, guys, that you obviously either, if you've got a dark bag, you're inside the dark bag, you need a can opener or a bottle opener, um, anything like that. Make sure, or if you're like me and you're lazy and you've gone into your bedroom and gone under the covers, make sure it's completely dark because you don't want to ruin that film. If you take your can opener, now don't try and uh, pop the can from the top. See here how they've, I've made those marks on the top of the spool? That's because of the pressure there. What you want to do is actually come at it from the bottom, okay? So when you're at the bottom, take your can opener and usually you have to hit it from a couple sides. Get a bit of leverage, all right? Get a bit of leverage and you've got to pop that can. You're going to have to come at it from multiple sides because it's uh, in there pretty tight for a reason. So if you come at it, you usually do one on one side, one on the other side, and then you'll feel it. See how we've just had it come out then? I've just felt it. So completely dark for this, guys. Pop that off once you've got, you know, both sides and you've leveraged it. Oop, sorry, can opener. Pop the lid off once you pop it out. If I get it out. Once you've actually got the film out, instead of taking the whole film like this out and then trying to fumble around in the dark, what you want to do is, is you can take it out, but keep it, keep it spooled. Don't let it split. If you extend the leader just enough, then you can line it back up with the, um, the felt insert on your can and you can actually slide it back in. Okay, so now we're back in the can and it's not just gonna unravel and go everywhere in the dark. Um, and then you risk obviously scratching your film uh, when you're fumbling around with your tank in the dark. I've got it back out and now in the dark, I'd be feeling you line up, obviously your, you know, the two entry take-ups on your roll and now I'm good to go. And now 
from a can that I couldn't, you know, I couldn't get the leader out. Now I'm loaded and I'm rocking. So guys, I hope those little tips may help you if you ever run into the situation. Thanks for watching another episode of Shoots with Coots, guys, and I'll see you soon.